here today for Lawn Fawn and for today's project I'm going to be making a Valentine's Day themed card or a loved themed card and I'm also going to be making a pull tab slider card I thought that would be really fun to do and these are the products I'm going to be using I'm going to be using the raw stamp set as well as the party animal stamp set for the balloon and also the critters in the jungle stamp set for the leaf images just to help set the scene for the dinosaurs. Over at Lawn Fawn this week, it is also Glue Dots week, so which means I'm going to be using quite a few Glue Dot products in my video today. I'm going to be using this permanent tape runner adhesive, which I'm super excited to use. I've never used any Glue Dot products before, so I'm really excited to use them. And I'm also going to be using these pop-up dots, which I'm guessing are exactly like foam tape, except they're Glue Dots, so they're super sticky, super strong. I'm really excited to use these in my project today. So to begin, I'm going to start by colouring in all of my images. So I'm working off a colour scheme that I just found on Pinterest. Um, it was basically a hot pink, an orange, a teal and a green. Just thought those colours would work really well for today's project. So I'm first starting off by colouring in my first dinosaur. So this is going to be the female dinosaur um, and I'm going to colour her in pink. I probably should have even added some eyelashes but I didn't think of it at the time. And then I'm going to colour in my boy dinosaur, which is going to be orange. So I'm just using these three colours here to create my orange dinosaur. I really love mixing in like a yellow with the oranges, um, especially like a goldy yellow. I just feel like it mixes really well and just makes a really nice combination. Then I'm going to be using some teal for the little bow tie and the balloon. Um, the bow tie probably can be used either to go in like the dinosaur's hair or um, as a bow tie for the boy, which is what I'm going to be using it for today. So once I've coloured in the balloon, I'm going to move on to all of the leaves. So I'm just going to do the leaves all of the same colour of green. Um, just I didn't really want to change it up. Um, it was just easier if I coloured them all the same colour. So I'm just going in with my favourite green combination and I'm just going from dark to light to colour in all of my leaves. And I don't think I end up using all these leaves on my final project. I might do but um, I just coloured in just this many since I thought that this was probably the most I was going to use. So once I'm finished colouring up all of my leaf images, I'm going to move on to colour the little spikes on the dinosaurs. I was originally going to do these like a lighter shade of the colours I coloured the dinosaurs, so a lighter pink or a lighter orange, but I decided to just go with grey markers since I just figured that was a little bit easier and a bit more neutral. So I'm just going in with some warm grey colours to colour in the little spikes on their backs. So then I just used all of the coordinate dies to cut them all out and then I can move on to creating my scene. So basically I've just gone ahead and cut two pieces of watercolour paper out with a small stitched rectangle die. I think I just used the largest one in the set. And then I also used the stitched um, heel side borders I believe um, for the second piece and I just cut a little heel piece for my scene. So then I'm going to go ahead and use some Distress Ink. Um, to blend on some colour onto both of these pieces. So on the background, I just went ahead and used some Salty Ocean and some Tumbled Glass, just fading that off into white at the top and then flicking on some water to give it a little bit of interest. And then I'm using Antique Linen and Gathered Twigs to ink blend onto my bottom piece, which is my hill piece. So once I've gone ahead and done that, again, I'm just going to splatter it with some water, pick it up with a paper towel, and then I'm going to heat dry both of these pieces off. Once I've gone ahead and dried both of these pieces off, I can work on my pull tab piece for my card. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull on the slide on over dies out and I'm going to use the longest straight die that comes in that set. In the end, I could have used the smaller one, but at this point I was going to do something a little bit different, so I left it long, but you definitely could use either one depending on the length of your sentiment. And I'm just going to use a T-square ruler to line that up on my panel to get it as straight as possible, even though it is still a little crooked. And I just went ahead and ran that through my die cutting machine. Then on the positive piece that came out of um, my hill piece, I just went ahead and stamped the I love you part of the sentiment on there. And that's where I decided that I was only going to put one part of sentiment inside. And that's why I could have used a smaller um, die as well. 
Now I need to work on adhering my scene or my panels together to create my little pull tab slider piece. So I just went ahead and added a couple of pieces of foam tape onto um, either side of that slide on over piece. Then I just went ahead and took a ruler and I'm going to measure the width between the two pieces and then I'm going to cut a white strip accordingly. And I wanted it to be as close as possible to the sides of that opening just so it wouldn't like wobble around too much and I wanted it to be quite sturdy. So I just went ahead and cut another white piece of cardstock so I think it was just under three and a quarter inches wide and then I just cut it to just over five and a quarter inches long just so I'd have a little piece that sticks out from the side so I can pull it and then I'm going to adhere my pieces together. So I went ahead and used some foam tape to adhere um, my heel piece onto the bottom of my background and then I just used my glue dots permanent runner adhesive to adhere down my secret sentiment piece so then that's all laid down flat and then I just went ahead and inserted the little pull tab piece as well to cover up the sentiment to sort of get the sizing right. So once I went ahead and done that, I can work on the sentiment. So I was tossing up between Quinn's ABC's dies and Finley's ABC dies. Decided to go for the Finley's ABC since I didn't have the coordinating stamp set to go with the Quinn's ABC dies. And so I just preferred the look of the Finlay's on their own. So I went ahead and just die cut the sentiment raw out of there, which is super cute. And it's going to go on the top left hand side of my project here. And I sort of just laid down the dinosaurs there just for reference, um, just to see where they were going to be adhered. Originally, they were going to be adhered on the slider strip as well to move from one side of the card to the other. But again, I changed my mind at the last minute um, and decided just to leave them um, just adhered in the one spot. So once I went ahead and added foam tape onto the back of my raw sentiment, I just went ahead and adhered that down onto the top of my panel. And then now I'm going to stamp the rest of the sentiment. So I die cut the word raw, then I'm stamping down the word means. Then in my little secret slider piece, I stamped the I love you. And then underneath the slider piece, I stamped in dinosaur. So it says raw means. And then I'm also going to add three little dots there as well. Then you pull the pull tab slider to say I love you and then down below it says in dinosaur which I just think is super cute um, and yeah I, just, I really love the way this turned out so now it's time to adhere my scene together so I'm going to be using a mixture of the glue dots runner adhesive and also the pop-up dimensional glue dots and I'm going to be adhering my scene together so I'm just adding on my little bow tie onto my dinosaur and then I'm going to adhere my two dinosaurs onto my card. So the trick with this is because I don't want to um, like put any adhesive on that slider piece, I'm going to just put adhesive on the top of the dinosaur and on the bottom of the dinosaur, not in the middle, just so then there's no like sticky adhesive um, adhering itself onto that slider piece. So then I'm just going to adhere the balloon also. So I just adhered one of those um, glue dots onto the top of the balloon and then just some runner adhesive onto the bottom string of the balloon. Then I added another pop-up dot to the top of the dinosaur's head and then just a little piece of foam tape at the bottom just because that piece wasn't very wide to add another glue dot. And then I'm just going to adhere down my second dinosaur just with the runner adhesive once again just because I didn't want there to be too much dimension on that side and it just fit better if I adhered the dinosaur down flat. So then I'm just going ahead and adhering down the rest of my leaf images. So some of them I laid down just with the runner adhesive and then others I am popping up on the pop-up dimensional glue dots. Then once I've gone ahead and adhered all of my different elements down to my background to complete my scene, I'm going to go ahead and colour in some of the raw sentiment. So I felt like the stark white against the background just didn't really go too well. So I wanted to add a little bit of shading. So I'm just going in with a W3 Copic marker and also a W00 Copic marker. And I'm just adding a slight bit of shading onto the bottom of each of the letters. Um, I just felt like adding a little bit of grey onto the background just worked out really nicely um, and it sort of made I guess the raw sentiment stand out a little bit more. I don't know I just really wasn't a fan of there being like no shading on the stark white raw sentiment since the rest of the card had quite a bit of shading. 
So once I went ahead and finished coloring the um, raw uh, sentiment in, I also went ahead and added three dots after the means word just to show that there is a continuation on for the sentiment somewhere on the card. Then I went ahead and used a corner chomper from We Are Memory Keepers to chomp the corners of my little pull tab piece. Then I used my crocodile to punch a small hole in the end of it as well and used some lemon lawn trimmings to adhere a little bow onto the end so there's somewhere to pull. Then I'm using some sunflower cardstock as my card base and what I decided to do was pull out the stitched trails dies and I'm going to sort of like emboss these onto the background. So what's really special about these dies is they just purely stitch which is really super cool um, and really nice to just add a little bit of extra details to like a plain piece of cardstock which is exactly what I wanted to do now. I just felt like because I used quite a small rectangle die um, I could see a lot of the yellow cardstock and I just wanted to have a little bit more interest. So then to adhere my um, panel onto this background, I decided to use some more dimensional glue dots as well. Just place them all over the background and that gives it a nice dimension. It's quite sturdy. Then um, the last step I need to do is just adhere my entire panel onto a card base. So I just went ahead and cut a 5.5 inch by 8.5 inch piece of cardstock, scored it at 4.5 inches, and then I'm using the Glue Dots Runner Adhesive to adhere down my yellow panel as well. And that completely finishes off my Pull Tab Slider card. It's super cute, a super cute Valentine's Day card, but... Honestly, like this raw means whatever in dinosaur, you could change up the sentiment so many different ways. Um, you know, it could say happy birthday or thank you or whatever. You could change it up for so many different occasions. And, you know, if it was for a birthday, you could add a little party hat onto the dinosaurs. Or, you know, if it was a thank you card, you could add a little present. Honestly, so many different um, ways to use this small stamp set. It doesn't just have to be for a love themed or a Valentine's themed card. I think it's really versatile, super cute, and I absolutely love dinosaurs, so this set is honestly just adorable. So that finishes up my pull tab slider card for today. I hope you were inspired. All of the supplies that I use will be listed down below and also over at the blog. And remember, it is glue dots week, so make sure you head over onto the blog and to see all of the inspiration using glue dots products. So thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all next time.